everyone, my name is Christina Joseph and I am from St. Alfonso Parish in Richmond, Virginia. I hope everyone is having a fruitful Lenten season thus far. Before we start our reflection on our gospel passage today, I would like for us to think about our personal life of sin. Have we sinned with the intention of sinning again? Have we ever condemned ourselves for our past sins? Have we judged others for their bad actions that they've done and deemed ourselves a better person in comparison? Do we listen for the voice of God in these moments? So today we will be reflecting on the gospel passage of John, chapter eight, verses one through 11. The gospel takes place on Mount of Olives where the Pharisees had brought to Jesus, a woman who was caught committing adultery. The Pharisees wanted to brutally condemn her for her act of sin. So Jesus proclaimed, whoever believes they have not committed sin themselves should be the ones to throw stones at her. One by one, everyone left. And at the end of the day, Jesus told the woman, no one condemned you and neither do I. Now go and do not live a life of sin anymore. Jesus looked at the woman with everlasting love and he gives her a second chance. This gospel tells us that we have all lived a life of sin. That doesn't mean that we are hopeless or incapable of being saved. It is important that we recognize that he will not abandon us. No matter how we sin, if we look at Jesus and ask for repentance with good intentions, he will forgive us. Instead of being our own accusatory voice, let us hear the voice of Jesus telling us that we have a second chance, that we are forgiven and that we are loved. If Jesus, who is perfect, can forgive and not oppress others for their sins, then we should be able to follow that example in our lives as well. As we continue on with this holy month, we should challenge ourselves to be as loving and merciful like our Lord. Let us encourage one another and build each other up because we are all God's creation of love. We should strive to work in the likeness of him, especially throughout this holy season.